times a week for 16 weeks, researchers tested the urine for levels of estrogen and metabolites of estrogen to see how the estrogen is broken down by the body. Sure. Okay? So past studies had shown that a particular ratio of metabolites to the estrogen changed in exercise and also was different in women with a higher risk of breast cancer. In this study, the women who remained sedentary, which means they didn't move more than necessary, showed no change in the ratio of their estrogens. But the women who began exercising, the levels of some of the metabolites fell and others rose, indicating a shift in the way the body metabolizes the estrogens. So there's a difference in the estrogens in women who exercise versus not. So exercises changes the estrogen metabolites, and estrogens probably are the cause, altering estrogens, of the decrease in breast cancer in women who exercise. So there are two nice studies. Yeah, that's very, very interesting, uh, doctor. They point out that, yeah, it'd be worthwhile. If yeah. you can walk an hour a day, right. you're going to decrease the risk of breast cancer by about 14%. Wow. An hour and a half a day, it goes up. a 25% reduction in breast cancer. Wow. So it's great study, great information, and hopefully our listeners can use it to reduce their risk of breast cancer or other cancers and tell their loved ones about it. So it's a big positive and probably helps us keep our weight and other things. We're going to go to a word from our sponsor, and then we'll be right back with more information about cancer, cancer treatment, and ways to make your life better and healthier. For cancer treatment, most prefer effective, non-invasive, well-tolerated outpatient therapy. At Radio Surgery New York, the Radio Surgery Pioneers, that's our goal too. We're first in America, first in New York, first for you with body radio surgery. We hit your cancer from head to toe with no cutting, no bleeding. We have decades of experience with primary and metastatic, large or small cancers cancer treatment with possibly a second chance for you, even if chemo, radiation, or surgery didn't work or isn't tolerated. Our goals are the best results and quality of life. Hi, I'm Dr. Gil Lederman. For a free booklet and DVD, call 212 Choices. 212 Choices for a fresh second opinion. Most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. We're super convenient, Broadway and 38th in Manhattan, Hyperthermia 2. To hit your cancer, call 212 Choices. 212 Choices for Radio Surgery New York. For prostate cancer treatment, results and quality of life matter. Hi, I'm Dr. Gil Lederman from Radio Surgery New York. Our enviable record includes treating thousands with prostate cancer. Critical to every man with prostate cancer and their loved ones is quality of life, urinary and sexual, and great treatment data while avoiding surgery. Treatment here is outpatient, with most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. First in America with radiosurgery, for cancers from head to toe, we have the expertise to hit the cancer. Our fresh second opinion could change your life. For prostate cancer treatment, call 212 Choices. 212 Choices. Radio Surgery New York. Super conveniently located in Manhattan at 38th and Broadway, hits the prostate cancer. Call 212 Choices, 212 Choices, to hit the prostate cancer. Welcome back to the Radio Surgery Hour. This is Rob Redstone here with Dr. Gil Lederman at the WABC Studios in the heart of New York City. We're just a few steps from the Radio Surgery New York Cancer Treatment Center on Broadway and 38th Street. Dr. Lederman, the leading cancer expert, treats prostate cancer non-invasively. He was the first in New York with fractionated brain radiosurgery, and he's the first in America and in the Western Hemisphere with body radiosurgery. Hey, Dr. Lederman, we're back. We're back. Good morning, John. How hey, are you? Hey, good morning, doctor. Good, good. Thanks. And our listeners, we have this new hour program, so we move to the 5 to 6 o'clock slot on WABC. We're here every week. And we've taken your calls if you have questions. And we are live. Live We're is, live. You can pinch yes. us. We're a few chilly blocks from our office. We're at 800-848-WABC, which is 800-848-9222. One of my friends said we never give the number enough. So we want you to know the number, 800-848-9222. And you're welcome to call and ask questions or tell us about your cancer issues. 
So yesterday, in the middle of the uh, snowstorm, I got a call from a young man whose father has melanoma. Now, melanoma is a kind of skin cancer that can be very aggressive. It's probably caused by sun exposure. Mm -hmm. It was on the forehead, which is an area of the body that gets lots of sun exposure, unless you wear a hat or put on sunscreen, which most of us should do in the heat of the summer, especially between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 or 3 p.m. So dad got a melanoma of the forehead, and it was removed. So, so far, so good. Right. Now, dad's about 82 years old. Dad's had a heart attack. Dad's had a stroke. For the last 20 years, dad has not been in great health. Okay. But dad is loved by the family, which is a beautiful thing. Sure, of course. And now dad has a new nodule on the parotid gland. So the parotid gland is just in front of the ear where I'm pointing mm-hmm. And if you can look in your radio and see where I'm pointing. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I'm pointing right in front of the ear. I, yes, exactly. You on are. On the right side. Right. And it's about a half an inch cancer. <laughs> uh, it was got CAT scans and MRIs and PET scans. It's the only side of cancer. One side of cancer. Mm-hmm. Okay, remember, Dad's 82. Right. Dad is sickly. Dad hasn't been well for 20 years. Sure. Dad's had heart attack. Dad's had stroke. The uh, the uh, doctor saw Dad, and doctor wants to cut on Dad, and he wants to make a cut from the man's forehead all the way down to his Ooh. neck. He wants to do a radical resection of the parotid gland. He wants to cut out the parotid gland, yep. which uh, has a risk of, of course, damaging the facial nerve, which could mean Dad is paralyzed yeah, in the face. Yeah, sure, sure. He then wants to go down, extend that cut all the way down to the neck and take out lymph nodes. Yeah. Looking for cancer, even though all the scans, MRI, CAT scan, PET CT scan show nothing. So we're going to do this incision. It's about a foot long on Dad. Yep. Dad is sick. And the son called me yesterday, and he said, I heard you on the radio. What do you think about this for Dad? I said, well, I think it's nuts. <laughs> okay, I, think I mean, is, is this the first opinion? The first? Uh... Well, it's opinion. It's a serious doctor. He's a sure. surgeon. Sure, sure. Uh, sometimes surgeons, you know, the, the world looks like nails, and you've got a hammer. They right. think they got to start hitting it with sure. a hammer. Well, the fact is, there are options out there, and we have a very, very, very extensive experience treating melanoma. Mm-hmm. We treat melanoma with non-invasive, outpatient. No cutting, no bleeding, stereotactic fractionated radio surgery, which means the patient lays on a table, we line them up, we have computer guidance, it's like sending a rocket ship to the moon. Right, right. We send in the beams to hit the cancer, not hurt healthy tissues. Yeah. Each treatment's fifteen minutes. People get off the table, they go for lunch, they go for dinner, they go to work, they go to the movies, they go home, they, they go, go about do what their they lives. Want. They go about their life. Which is something Okay, that, it's not um, putting dad, 82, with a heart attack and a stroke. Right. With a foot-long incision, it's going to be in the hospital. In the hospital, you uh, can get super infections, right? And who knows if he would ever even recover from yeah, the surgery. Sure, sure. Or if he'd survive it. Yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, something I think about. Yeah. So uh, we said, yes, I mailed him out a package and a DVD yesterday, even though it was a snowstorm. We should get it today or tomorrow, Monday. Uh, we have that booklet available for any one of you who wanted to call in at the 212 Choices number, 212 Choices, which is 212-246-4237. But there's an option for dad where you can avoid the cutting. You have a high success rate. With us, we don't touch the cancer, so there's no crumbs. Sometimes when you cut on cancer, it's like cutting a loaf of bread. Yeah. You leave a lot of crumbs. Right. And when the crumbs are cancerous, they can grow. Sure, sure. So I'm hopeful that he'll at least come in and we can talk about the options and he can learn that there's non-invasive treatments, just like on Linda's mom, that can stop or shrink the cancer and avoid all the harm of surgery. Yeah, great. So I'm told we have a call from... I believe it was Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack, come back. Call. Tell us what you have to say. Oh, uh, you ready Good morning, Jack. You ready for my question? I am ready for everything. Oh, uh, <laughs> I have a sin this... Well, we got cut off from Jack. Jack, oh. please call us back. I don't know what happened. Yeah, the number please again is uh, eight, uh, 
nine two 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 one eight hundred eight four eight W A B C nine two two two. So give us a call. Yeah, or we'll get Jack back us, on the line. Or you can call us on our um, radio surgery number, which is two one two choices. Two one two two four six forty two thirty seven. Sorry about that, Jack. We're we're trying. Uh, I have another case to tell you about. So we've had multiple cases I've told you about today, all of which some were getting endless chemo, some are proposed very toxic surgery when there's non-invasive methods of treatment out there. So the next case I'd like to talk about is uh, Dr. X. Well, I was talking a little bit about Dr. X a couple of weeks ago. Dr. X is 85 years old. 85 years old. He looks young, but still, the clocks start sticking when you're born. Sure. Right? Sure, Your yeah. driver's license doesn't change if you look <laughs> young or you look old. And the risk of certain things like surgery increase with age. So some people don't want surgery because they don't want the cutting, they don't want the bleeding, they don't want the hospital stay, they don't want the super infections, they don't want it. Now, this man's 85 with a PSA of 11, a Gleason 8. So he has a prostate cancer. The PSA is the it's the blood test, prostatic specific antigen. Normally, it's considered normal up to four. Uh, more than ten is considered high risk. He's at eleven. And then this cancer is a Gleason eight. Now Gleason was a pathologist, and he tried to tell us about how aggressive a cancer would be. Right. Mm-hmm. And he would take two areas and give it a number from one to five. So one is the best, five is the worst, and he'd add it up the two areas. So one plus one equals two is right. the best a person can have, gotcha. which is never seen. I've never seen one in thousands of cases over 30 years. The worst is five plus five equals 10, which I've certainly seen. Yeah. And this man has a Gleason 8, PSA 11, high-risk prostate cancer, 85 years old, and he went to see two surgeons who told him they can cut it out. Hmm. Now one surgeon at a big hospital said he never did it, but he's willing to make the exception. Well, there's a reason he never did it. Yeah, I was and the reason that. he never did it is because generally surgeons stop doing radicals at age 70, and I would tell you they probably never need to do a radical. If you look at our data, our data shows better results without radical surgery at every age group. Yeah. And every man wants to have the best chance of being cancer-free. Every man that I know wants to keep their sexual life going. Sure. Every man I know wants to keep their urinary life going mm-hmm. and not pee in their pants. And with surgery, a substantial number of men have recurrence of the cancer and lose sexual function and end up losing control of the urine, whether it's when they laugh or sneeze sure. or whether it's all the time they're peeing in their pants. Now, this man, 85, to think that the surgeons are pushing him to have surgery, when it, even in one of the biggest surgeons, he's never done it before. Right. So it should tell you all of a sudden, why is that he would... so eager to push this man to have surgery when even he's not done it before? And if you look at the data of one of the most famous surgeons in America, and I've got that data in our book, if you call us at the 212 Choices number during the week, we'll send it to you. You can see that if you've got a uh, Gleason 8 cancer, your chance of being cancer-free is about 30 to 40%. With us, if that same patient came to us, it's double, mm-hmm. double, double. Yeah. So if you're going to Atlantic City and one casino offers you double and one casino offers you half, which would you do? I'd go with double. You'd go with double the chance of being yeah. cancer-free. And also knowing that... Uh, when you're at a higher age, it's higher risk. So there's no reason to push the envelope. Surgeons are not doing this man any favor. And it was not just one surgeon in New York. It was two surgeons in New York that were pushing this man to have radical surgery when, in fact, there was no need for radical surgery. Uh, the risk of complications are really high. Uh, we've discussed that before in this program. And I just want to go over some of the complications with surgery. This is a list of complications that one of the surgeons in New York actually described for his own patient. He put it in a consult note, and people who read the consult note, like me, were shocked. But the patient was never shown his consult note until he came to us. Hmm. He came to us. I've told 
people before on the program, I like to show the patient their CAT scan reports. Sure. I give them a copy.